Hi, I'm Nick Compass, Director of Instruction at Santa Ana Country Club. One of the great things we have at the range here is a rope that kind of helps us divide where we're hitting from, but it's also a great tool for us to use for our what we'll call our, our swing path or our swing direction. And that's going to really help us fix our slice or even our hook. So the way that I can use this is I've got a tee in the ground here, and I'm going to set up to it. And one of the things in our golf swing, the club isn't straight up and down. It's on a little bit of an angle. It's on a tilt. So that's the way my swing should go. That's the way my club should kind of semi-circle around as I'm swinging. So if I would get set here, the way that I would work on this and, and, and have you work on this is, let's say you're a slicer, okay? When I go back, okay, I'm going to make my normal backswing. We'll see how, again, the, it doesn't go straight on the rope. It arcs in just a little bit. I go up to the top. Now, here's the big part. Most slicers, when they start down, the club gets steep and over. And you can see as I'm coming down how it's outside of the rope right now. And as it's coming across, that, that coming across there puts the side spin on the ball and makes it slice. So again, if I'm a slicer, I'm going to make my back swing. And I'm going to practice going in slow motion here. And I've got to get this club head to stay inside that rope on a slight little arc. And then comes back to the ball and then on through. Now, if I was a big slicer, I could exaggerate this even more, feel like this comes even more inside the rope and goes almost over the rope that way. The one thing I'd like to add in there as I do that is getting the face, getting the face to rotate, to square that face up. So I'm coming again, we'll do it in a good fashion here, coming a little inside this rope, coming to the T and getting that face to rotate and so it kind of looks down at that point as it goes through okay so that's going to help us with the slicers that's the way we want to kind of use this rope and getting that club to come down on that slight arc if you're somebody that hooks the golf ball you're possibly doing too much of that you've got more of this going in your swing it's coming too much inside and then you're flipping it over okay so if you tend to hook the golf ball too much the way i want to use this rope is i want to get coming down and i want to feel like it's coming down again it's on a little bit of an arc but you can see how it's straightening in a little bit sooner and kind of almost going a little straighter through the shot and through that rope so that my swing direction is straightening out a little bit there and not coming as much from the inside, okay? So again, great way to use this rope at either side of the range to help you with your swing direction and that swing path. And again, that's what puts that curvature on the golf ball. So if you're slicing, you are coming down outside that rope. And if you're hooking the golf ball too much, you're coming way inside that rope and causing that curvature the other way.